OK. Um, ladies and gentlemen, when graphing absolute value equations, um, the first thing that we want to make sure that we identify is what exactly is going to be the vertex. Now, here's what we kind of have our transformation equation, y equals a times x minus h plus k, where they all have a different, they all transform our graph in a different way. A is going to tell us if it reflects over the x-axis or not. Um, also, that's going to horizontally uh, stretch or vertically stretch your graph, depending on this value, which we'll go over next one. And h and k, h is going to shift the graph left or right. k is going to shift the graph up or down. Now, to determine how it does that, we need to use what we call the vertex. And the value of the vertex is the coordinate h comma k. Now, please note that the formula is x opposite h, and the vertex is just h. If you guys want to use parentheses, then do that. All right? But lo notice here, this is x plus 2. So my vertex is going to be the opposite, which is negative 2, positive 3. Another way to look at that would be x minus negative 2. Because what's x minus negative 2? Do you guys agree with me those are the same? So that's why always your a, just always think inside the absolute value, it's always the opposite sign. So if it's positive, your h is actually negative. If this is positive, those are going to be the same. But it's h comma k. And the formula that's x opposite of h. It's very, very important because that's one of the biggest mistakes students make. Now, to graph this, um, remember the parent graph of our absolute value, y equals absolute value of x, is what we call the v graph. Just looks like a v. The slope is over 1, up 1, over 2, up 2. All right. Now, this minimum point is what we call the vertex. And if I was to reflect that over the x-axis, it would be the maximum point. But you guys can see this is the lowest point on the graph. Remember when we did the domain and range? Right? That's the minimum point. That's what we call the vertex. Now, this vertex right now is at 0, 0. But you guys notice there's no h and k here. Right? I'm not shifting left or right. Now my vertex is negative 2, 3. So I go to the left 2 and then up 3. 1, 2, 3. So now that's my new vertex. Now, I, did not, I am not adjusting anything with the slope. I do not have a value of a. So when I do not have a value of a, I can follow the slope of the parent graph, which is over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1. Over to the left, up 1, over 2, up 1. So when you do not have a value of a, it's over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1. And you just keep on following that pattern. And that's what my graph looks like. That is my vertex. Does that make sense? Anybody have any questions on that? No? All right, so now we'll do one more where we're going to have a 